Let's wait until maybe a few more people uh, connect. Okay, I suggest we start, and uh, if uh, anyone else uh, connect, I'll just uh, repeat, or hopefully the recording will go a little better this time than previous time. Previous time, the recording uh, went on with for the first 25 minutes, and then it got cut. Um, but last meeting was basically a repetition of uh, previous uh, previous things. So, um, same as uh, last time, we will go over um, some entertainment material, so I will just quickly glance through um, slides, because they provide context, uh, even if you do not concentrate on uh, derivations uh, it gives vocabulary and uh, even if you s uh, listen on the background and uh, do not focus to your uh, highest concentration it will be very helpful to go through the material later on so um, there is um, several dishes on the plate today. So, for the lecture, this uh, which I will, will try to jam and squeeze uh, as uh, brief as possible, we will go further over so-called Born-Oppenheimer approximation, which is the key part of um, key part of the um, all computational chemistry calculations and uh, um, even though our focus on, on practical things uh, I need to verbalize and speak out uh, some steps of uh, of this born Oppenheimer approximation because if you will ever add computational segment, computational section to your future research paper or thesis, uh, one needs to mention approximation and uh, get, uh, be able to navigate between, between terms. Um, another thing which is um, quite uh, critical and it is a main part of the output is to start feeling sign up uh, sheet for uh, presentations um, if we do not have enough people uh, i'll send this sign up sheet uh, through email and uh, but those who are attending uh, right now will have priority to select uh, the subjects so through uh, this summer course we will have four uh, presentation sections. Uh, Kristen is uh, aware of this um, arrangement and for the first three we will share between us a summary of practical skills and the fourth one will be mini research projects. Oh, I see Mahima has uh, connected. Nice, nice seeing you connected, Mahima. So there will be uh, lecture sign up sheet and then we will go to the uh, practical to the practical uh, part and um, we will slowly continue practicing the modeling building of models and uh, go to optimizing these models and uh, we will use one model in uh, 
so to say, in class through so during our meeting, and another couple of models will be a homework. Um, since summer classes are less formal, um, the requirements are also much easier than uh, in regular classes. But these homeworks are offered so that you can practice if you if you want to. But the thing that is not waived are those uh, four presentations about once per three three weeks. Uh, okay. So uh, let me start again. We will have three sections: uh, lecture, which you can just uh, relax and sleep and do your things and hear it in the background. It's not too important. Then very important thing: uh, sign up, uh, which uh, will go very quickly, and then practical thinking and building and optimizing models. The plan is to finish with uh, uh, lecture in um, 20 minutes. Maybe it will go a little longer, but uh, I will try to be as quick as possible. And so we are uh, practicing computational chemistry course. There are a couple of books, but uh, they're not necessary. And we have uh, four sections, uh, molecular modeling, Hartle-Fock theory, density functional theory, and excited state. Um, in few meetings, the uh, lectures uh, need to... So um, I'm going to show the end goal for next uh, maybe three meetings, where we should arrive to. Right now, this is... Um, Right now, this is uh, um, a little too early, but I want to um, show you where we will arrive with this uh, lecturing exercise. So, what? Uh, so, this slide that I'm showing you right now is um, the end goal, and we do want. If you um, briefly remember what we were discussing last time in this formal lecture part, we do want to simplify the set of equations that describe properties of molecules by practicing trick of separating variables. We want to chop, to split everything that relates to electronic properties and everything that is connected to uh, interatomic distances and uh, we shouldn't by now we believe that both electrons and nuclei are quantum particles described by Schrodinger equation and we need to represent wave function as uh, of all the whole molecule as a wave function of el all electrons and wave function of all uh, nuclei in order so we solve them separately and if you can do it then we Oh, you are typing that you don't. Sorry, I apologize. Yes, it looks like I am presenting to myself. Yeah, this is this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, thank you much for typing. And if you do not see me reacting uh, on your um, typing, then please uh, switch on the microphone and. Uh, repeat your signal in a voice okay so the goal is to have separate equations for electronic part and nuclear part and the uh, lowest lower line in uh, in this slide is where we are going to arrive to in about three meetings from uh, from the initial from the like first short part of, of our meetings in theoretical part in, in lectures, so we are going to uh, set up equations for um, electronic part 
computer part and uh, then the overall so uh, there are wave functions lowercase phi for electrons and uh, Greek letter chi for nuclear the nuclear part and if you take uh, this uh, symbols this. so here out of uh, Schrodinger equation out of uh, we get this phi and our Schrodinger equation for nuclear part we, we get this chi and they both are coming into here electronic comes here the nuclear comes there and their product or summation of their product will give the uh, wave function of overall mode. This is quite boring, but it is important because all uh, calculations are based on this approximation. So it is where I want to arrive and uh, you, we need to speak it uh, up and later on maybe it will result in one sentence in your future papers with uh, computational aspects. Now, in about two weeks from now, we need to do presentation. So everyone who um, signed up for the course formally or uh, auditing it uh, just for getting some skills needs to take a little share on presenting basic skills. So in the practical aspect, uh, practical part of the meetings, we are uh, practicing how to connect to a server, how to build molecules and uh, other aspects. When it is presented by instructor, it can be glanced from one side for making the skills absolutely strong and reliable on one side of all participants. We need to briefly go over the skills uh, by explained by attendees and uh, in about two weeks from now we will do one meeting when uh, everyone will take a little piece and help others to remember how to do things so it will be basically verbalized manual so uh, here is the list. Um, number of uh, formally registered uh, participants is three, and there is one more um, registered uh, participant who um, seems committed to to go through through the whole whole course. So these twelve subjects should be uh, chopped onto three subjects per person and uh, if you are on connection right now you may select anything you like from this list and i suggest uh, so uh, those who are connected right now do have a preference do have a uh, option to do it a little earlier so uh, i suggest we do it right now in the following format. I'm going to bring up the same uh, page in the form of um, Google Slides. So um, let me share. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Mahimas, thank you, thank you for uh, already typing, and please uh, select your name maybe with bold face or color. Okay, and I will share uh, the link once again. We will cut it. Yes, yes. And let me, uh, so I did share the. Uh, link in the chat line. So, um, Kristen and you, please also select uh, which subjects seems uh, most relevant for you to, to present. Uh, 
And let me know if you can, if, if, if you experience difficulties connecting to this link. Babel, Babel was, is cool. Oh, yeah, it was natural for Kristen to represent Jemo, yes? And Avogadro. Very good, very good. Uh, Kristen, oh, please, yeah, please uh, select by color. It will be a little easier for, uh, for you to navigate. You, would, would you be uh, interested and able to follow this link and sign up for a couple of um, subjects. Okay, good. Angles, we build it and modify distances, angles, the hydro angles. Very good, very good. This is a cool thing. Um, let's pencil it uh, for. Um, let, let me look on, on a calendar. Let me look on a calendar in uh, on the on a Wednesday in three weeks from now, and maybe on like week and a half for sure. Uh, so today is third. It's definitely will be not next week. So either fifteenth or seventeenth of uh, June, fifteenth or June seventeenth. Maybe 15th is, is um, better because it, the subjects are quite easy and we do not need to wait uh, long enough. And so for the homework, when we need to submit for the homework? After the weekend. After the weekend. That's okay. Yes? Would we be able to do the presentation on Wednesday the 17th? as my brother gets married on June 14th. Oh, okay, not a problem, absolutely. Yeah. If, if there are reasons, yes, yes, let's, let's do it. Uh, Thank you. Oh, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so type somewhere. June 17th. And also select a comma. Okay, direct this. Open account sequest, HPC, text connection. Uh huh, uh huh, okay. Very good. And and AMP uh, Genius will be, I, 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 uh, will be ready to talk about accounts because of the previous experience with Seacast. Very good. Um, Avogadro software. Uh, you? Would you be... It's cool if you present on Avogadro, but uh, I'm just uh, curious if you would uh, be interested to... Um, well, any of you would, would be interested to look on the X-ray diffraction. It's... Um, doesn't mean to go into the depth depth of this uh, subject. Um, so basically, it's just um, uh, import um, import dot c files from database. So uh, I, I don't care who presents it, but if one of us selects uh, this subject, it could be uh, interesting research skill for, uh, I'll, I'll understand, oh, oh, sorry, I'll explain what it is. Um, right now we will be practicing building the models by hand, by clicking or setting up coordinates, but there is a very very efficient way to um, 
generate computational papers on industrial uh, scale, like paper per two weeks or something like that. So um, a lot of structures, especially solids, but also some uh, uh, molecules can be crystallized at low temperature. Then one does a single crystal X-ray diffraction and single crystal X-ray diffraction is converted by standard packages that we do not care about into XYZ coordinates or more specifically into dot SCIF coordinates. And then it's quite easy to find uh, a structure in the database, download it, and immediately run calculation and then just uh, perform characterization and, and publish. So uh, um, you can think twice later. Uh, this uh, this is a powerful tool. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, then um, the AMP genus probably will need to take the rest of subjects and uh, uh, I'm removing this uh, from our focus and go further in in the in the lectures. Many thanks for uh, for your free view uh, selections. Okay. Insert picture from file. So, yeah, thank you for the choices. So when uh, I will finish uh, mumbling this um, general lecture materials, uh, we will go to practical side and based on the uh, interests of one of uh, one of, of us, uh, we will look onto model that oversimplified model that mimics the functionalization of uh, nanotubes. Here we take on the small fragment and uh, we will practice building it and measuring distances of the key uh, key groups. Uh, and then we will transfer it between um, the um, local computer photon server and try to do some basic optimizations. So it is our program for today. And for the homework, uh, I suggest uh, if you are interested in homeworks, uh, and th they will provide, if you if you need grade, a little points towards the grade, but main points come from presentations. So if uh, by some reason um, you are late or busy, and homework is not your highest priority, it's not end of the world. Just let let, let me know. But the homework will be building. Uh, these two models, which uh, um, corresponds to grafting the functionalization of silicon surfaces. And because we are at the beginning of the course, instead of nanostructure or surface, uh, we will build just very small cluster of silicon and uh, put a diazonium salt uh, on the top as a reactant and then uh, just build by hand the product and then uh, focus, uh, practice also some optimization and just uh, tell what is the uh, distance from carbon to silicon uh, before reaction and, and, and after reaction. Okay, now you can uh, lean back and uh, relax. I will just uh, mumble some um, lecture materials. So, Okay, so the whole course is a combination of theory, skills, and uh, communications. And uh, in the previous meetings, we did a brief recall of quantum theory, which uh, combines time dependent Schrodinger Schrodinger equation, time independent Schrodinger equation, and solution of time dependent Schrodinger equation gives a set of wave functions and eigen energies. Uh, then we did discuss what is a molecule. So a molecule 
uh, from the point of view of computational chemists and physicists is a collection of positive and negative char point charges, each of which is specified by position vector. And when we were doing practical sites, we were setting three Cartesian projections of uh, each ion of each nuclei into the file, dot xyz file. And if you do strict mathematical model of molecule, we also need Cartesian coordinates of each of electrons. But uh, in the model, we do not set it up because electrons are very quantum. They're distributed and, and it's uh, a nonsense to specify position of electrons in practical work. But in uh, theory, each electron may have a coordinate denoted with lowercase. Then we did a work of setting up the operator of total energy, so-called Hamiltonian, which in, uh, is composed of uh, five, five terms. Two terms for kinetic energy, kinetic energy of uh, electron, kinetic energy of, of nucleus, and three terms of potential energy. Uh, potential nuclear to nuclear repulsion, electron to electron repulsion, and nuclear to electron attraction. And uh, here we do see uh, this symbols for, um, for our simple model with two nucleus and two electrons. Um, before the Monday meeting, I did send uh, homework number one. If you were really curious, you may try to do it and share, share with me. It, it is not main goal of the course, but the homework number one is to uh, write all terms of such Hamiltonian for a little bit more complicated uh, molecule. Uh, like, um, you, you, you'll see the if you need it. And the number of terms is quite big. Uh, instead of writing uh, several terms, one can replace them by summation signs with running indices. Uh, but for being brief and simple, one can keep this summarizing notations, T sub n kinetic nuclear, V sub n potential nuclear, T sub e kinetic electronic, V sub e potential electron, and V sub n e the attraction between electrons and nucleus. If you if I flip back to the previous slide, you see the signs are uh, plus for repulsion and minus for uh, attraction. So same sign repel, opposite sign attracts. The mm, main challenge in order to solve Schrodinger equation with this Hamiltonian is that number of independent variables is too high. Not possible even for uh, modern most powerful modern computers, and even if we get quantum computers, they, they will not be able to solve uh, molecular Schrodinger equation. It's it's a huge amount of variables, even for small molecules. So one needs to divide and conquer and look onto degrees of freedom for nucleus and electrons separately. So one uh, combines uh, electronic, all terms that relate to electronic, and tries to solve Schrodinger equation for only them, assuming that nucleus are so slow that they do not change why electrons rearrange over their own orbital. But later on, this solution can be plugged in back into overall uh, molecular Schrodinger equation and learn more about nucleus. So practically, it is done by so-called um, um, separation of variables. But if we get this electronic part, we are finding wave function for uh, electrons, which is explicitly depend on 
positions and uh, moment of electrons and depends on uh, positions of nucleus only as parameters. So the solution of overall Schrodinger equation depends on both electronic and nuclear degrees of freedom and is represented by as product of electronic wave functions and nuclear wave functions which originate from plugging in eigenvalues of electronic states into overall molecular Schrodinger equation and finding this chi with nuclear wave functions. I understand and realize that uh, I'm jumping very quickly. It's not possible to understand and mem memorize uh, everything. Uh, if you think it is important, feel free to ask questions later. Uh, if you believe it is not important, uh, I'm okay with this. Just pick up some terminology, which is needed even if you do practical, uh, practical things. So, uh, formally, solution is product of electronic and nuclear wave function, but it is not just product, it is a summation of products. And uh, in order to practice this factorization, one needs to neglect something. And the, the question is what to neglect and how to neglect it in order that we do not lose much of uh, precision. So again, our uh, plan is going from overall molecular Hamiltonian for molecular Schrodinger equation to uh, solution for electronic part only, which is plugged into uh, molecular Schrodinger equation in order to get nuclear parts, and it is the uh, our formal solution that is only an abstract theory in our practical aspects we will never solve full molecular Schrodinger equation so it is only context uh, it, it is a strict um, application of quantum mechanics to molecules but because of objective difficulties with many degrees of freedom we will simplify it drastically okay so actually what we are going to do today is to justify how to carefully separate electronic and uh, nuclear wave functions. So if we look superficially, then um, our product of electronic and nuclear wave functions can be our solution in form of a product, can be plugged into uh, molecular Schrodinger equation with uh, four terms so kinetic, potential and then everything which relates to uh, electrons as an operator and then the fourth term after the equality sign it will be eigen energy and everywhere here we put psi, 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 psi so it's molecular Schrodinger equation so this product form is plugged into each line of this equation. Good. Or why I'm bothering myself and, and yourself of, uh, of this uh, uh, long equations. We need to show in which limit electronic wave function and nuclear wave function can be found independently. We, in, in which case uh, one, uh, the solution for electronic will not affect nuclear, and solution of nuclear will not affect electronic, if possible. So, practically, we see that this form contains electronic wave function that is explicitly depends on lowercase r, electronic degrees of freedom. We do want to expel, to remove electronic degrees of freedom from this equation. Uh, we cannot just cancel them out, but there is a very um, standard justified mathematical trick to remove wave functions from the equation. So uh, here we 
plug in this product here, there, there, and there. And our goal is to remove phi and keep chi. So remove wave functions, which depend on, on position, means convert them in something that does not depend on, on the in position. And the trick to remove wave function is as follows. It's based on property of orthogonality. If the wave functions are good functions, then multiplying one wave function from this set to another wave function on the, on, on the same, same set and integrating, you will give either zero or one if they are good orthogonal functions. So if we multiply this long four lines long equation by phi from the left each term and then integrate, then one will be able to remove electronic wave functions. Get rid of, of uh, phi. And just in case um, the word orthogonality is something you hear for the first time, which I doubt. I'm sure you, you heard it in parts before. So if you multiply uh, functions from the same set with the same indices and perform integration, it will give one. If you multiply, multiply functions from the same set with different indices, it will give zero. And this either one or zero is called Kronecker delta, and uh, symbolized by this delta symbol, delta AB. Um, since I'm a human, and I'm a lazy human, I'm, all, I'm trying to write dr once. But we, sh uh, I, we should imply that uh, in most molecules, there is more than one electron. And one performs integrations over uh, positions of first electron, second electron, third electron. So we need to write integration over first electron. So minus infinity plus infinity dr first. And then same over dr second. D -d -d up to dr nth electron. And each wave function depends on n uh, uh, arguments, but still the story about delta function will be valid. By contraction of wave functions, one gets rid of them, making them into zero or one. And uh, um, an example, an example uh, of uh, orthogonal wave functions in, in a very basic thing, uh, we simplest possible example example from quantum theory is uh, one-dimensional particle in the box with uh, eigenstates of this uh, half period sine sine with uh, increasing number of fringes so if one multiplies these functions by themselves and integrate over uh, independent variable one will get one if indices coincide and zero if ind indices diverge. Molecular uh, electronic states in molecules are much more complicated than that, but they still obey uh, the same principle. So we are about more than halfway through. Uh, so soon we will stop relaxing and go to the practical thing. So the green font here is uh, what we had before our molecular shading equation. Here are this uh, overall molecular wave function in form of product. And because we do want to practice orthogonality, we multiply everything by the uh, wave electronic wave function with different index b and we are making this integration so we do this trick of integrating everything by uh, by sub b from the left in order to get rid of phi in, in order to get wave function for nuclear 
or to, to keep only nuclear uh, part in the equation. So, um, if you are following and uh, can uh, speak about the thing, it will be big plus at a time when you need to defend your computational results and uh, uh, good asset. So, um, yes, it is the same slide, maybe typed a little bit better. While performing this operation, see, this integration, product, in different operators. We would see that this uh, yellow thing and, and, and green thing phi, will result into delta function. Delta KB. In addition, we do have we do see summation. So when we will perform this operation, uh, we will observe that the delta function and summation meet each other. And there is a little uh, rule of thumb, uh, like summation is like a snake, and uh, the delta function is like a mice and mouse, and when they meet each other, the summation eats mice and they both disappear. And mathematical expression becomes simple. So, this products of phi b phi a integral becomes delta here, there, and there. And uh, we will be able to convolute it with this summation and uh, con convert it into a delta function. What is interesting and important here? The operators v this is number this is also number so this last three terms do i need to go a little back here uh, this um, uh, three terms do not these operators do not uh, change electronic wave function for electronic wave functions they are just constants therefore one can swap wave functions and these operators freely. But the top term has kin uh, kinetic energy of nucleus. And by the quantum laws, oper uh, operator uh, kinetic energy is composed of momentum square. And momentum is uh, derivative over position of nucleus. And our electronic wave function depends on positions of nucleus in a parametric way. So kinetic energy of nucleus can change electronic wave function. Therefore, one cannot swap operator and wave function here. So the top term comes out as a bad guy here. So for the last three terms, um, the snake ate a mice. So we do not have neither delta function nor summation, but we replaced index A into index B for this nuclear part. And the top part stays as it was, phi sub B, phi sub A, uh, nuclear kinetic energy in between, and it seems discomfortable for us. I would like to remove it or simplify it, but I cannot go against the uh, quantum nature of, of equations. So I need to process this equation with a special treatment. Um, I would be not offended to learn that uh, everyone is sleeping right now, because it's a little bit intense and, 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 and boring, but now there will be maybe a key part. So. I am going to illustrate how one processes this top term. So in this top term, one replaces the kinetic uh, energy operator with momentum squared over two masses. Momentum is derivative over position. And if it is momentum squared, it is like second derivative and then 
imaginary unit and some constant just come out naturally. So we do have this thing as a heritage of kinetic operator of uh, nuclear energy, nuclear kinetic energy, and then we have this phi b phi a for electronic part. So now we may forget quantum theory and just apply this operator, this operator t, onto this product of functions, each of which does depend on r. So it's nothing but applying two derivatives to two functions. And if you apply a derivative for the first time, we just uh, practice the rule of applying uh, from calculus of applying derivative to product of function. So derivative of first function times second function changed plus first function changed times derivative of the second function. I'm tired myself, probably you are tired more than, more, than, uh, more than myself, but very soon we will forget about it and go to practical things. So if I'm applying the second derivative, then there will be a total of four terms. And in these uh, four terms, um, one term will be second derivative applied to the nuclear wave function. Then there will be two identical terms. When one applies first derivative to electronic wave function and first derivative to nuclear wave function. And then there will be last term when one applies second derivative to electronic wave function. So the first term, when one applies derivative or displacement of nucleus to nuclear wave function, is a dream. It is what I want to see. The electronic function is unchanged and we can do easy things. We can get rid of electronic wave function. These terms in the green box mix electronic and nuclear wave functions and they make the life very uncomfortable but very interesting. So the main achievement of Born and Oppenheimer that they claimed that these two terms can be neglected completely in most practical things, um, practical uh, um, problems. So if our molecule resides at equilibrium, if temperature is close to zero or even at room temperature, if you do not have combustion, if you do not have intense laser pulse, if you do not have chemical reactions, then these two terms that mix electronic and nuclear function can be neglected. And they're called non-adiabatic uh, terms. They mix nuclear and electronic wave function. The, this part, which is more regular, it is pure kinetic energy of um, nuclear. So if we do neglect non adiabatic coupling, if you do neglect uh, non adiabatic coupling, then the first term can be simplified and um, So if you neglect non adiabatic coupling, we get only delta function and pure kinetic energy. And then uh, one is arriving to equation for uh, nuclear wave function that has pure kinetic energy, um, repulsion between nuclei, and the term that originates from eigenstates of uh, electronic part. So the goal of this equation to find eigenstates of nucleus which have quantum properties, zero point energy and such. And the main thing that here the uh, nuclear to nuclear repulsion includes not only the Coulomb term but also contribu small contribution from electronic parts. And it does depend 
on electronic state of the uh, molecule. So this term of uh, natural Coulomb repulsion plus contribution from electronic clouds is called potential energy surface. Whew. I think it is more than enough for today. Uh, I'm done with the uh, lectures uh, for, for, for today, and uh, I suggest we go to the practical part. So uh, please open two windows, uh, two tabs. Um, please open your, your terminal connection, which uh, can be terminal if you are using Mac. Yes, okay. And uh, MOBA extern, if uh, MOBA extern, if you are uh, on the PC, so we need uh, to. Yep. So we need uh, two two windows. In one, you just uh, do something on your terminal. And on another one, you are uh, connecting to the um, uh, photon uh, server. So in case you have um, forgotten how to do it, let me uh, remind. Uh, it's better to put minus y here instead of minus x. OK. And, um, Please um, let me know. I, I need a little signal from um, a little signal from you that uh, we are on the uh, online connection. Uh, so, so we are done with lectures, and now everyone needs to be more focused and uh, actively participating. You can either unmute microphone and say yes, or just quickly type in the chat line. Kristen, yes. Mahima, yes. Uh, you? OK, yeah, thank you. So uh, we are going to the directory where we practice exercises for the course and just in case uh, in case uh, you have forgotten I, I typed in, into the into the line Typing ls minus lt, and there are um, directories for each of us. So each of us should go into a personal directory. And um, for those who are able to draw in uh, Gauss view, I recommend doing it right away in the Gauss view. If you did check that uh, Gauss view uh, doesn't work right away, I suggest uh, you will be drawing on either Avogadro or JMO at your personal equipment and then transfer the file on to the photon server. So um, I will start uh, from. Um, um, let me introduce the, the model and please 
try to build it. So I, I already prepared it in the um, Avogadro and I'll probably will demonstrate, I, I will do it in the uh, JML right now, but um, if needed, I will repeat steps in uh, Avogadro uh, and go see you as well, as well. So there is nothing secret here. We just uh, select the drawing two and start putting, putting atoms. Uh, as soon as you run into uh, difficulties, just let me know, share screen or, or uh, tell uh, what is the problem or I'll try to fix it. So let me do the same task with different software one by one. So um, the preferred way that I think Mahima will follow is to just open Gauss view by typing gview.exe and start building the model. But since not uh, each of us has a reliable uh, connection and X uh, terminal, I'll do it for uh, JMO uh, first. So clicking on this uh, model builder and then uh, doing uh, maybe three benzene rings. Double, double, put a little away. No, it shouldn't be, it should be single here. Double. Should be single, double, single, double. Okay. Yes, just a second. I'll I'll, I'll finish a couple of steps and then uh, start uh, assisting. Okay. Single, double, single, double. I do not want this uh, should be delete here. Uh, no, I do want another uh, carbon. It's a little less scientific, but we need to get this uh, practi practical skills of uh, drawing molecules uh, to be more uh, to be prepared to uh, research steps. So if I put two fingers simultaneously, it. Uh, brings it a little closer or further further away. Right. Uh, 
oxigênio. Bom, vai, Jorginho. And then to the oxygen. So I'm not going to um, optimize or, or do anything else. I'll just save it in, in this form. Uh, file, export, Gaussian. And I will uh, call it um, fake, the graphene fake, and um, version 2. And it says that the uh, com is in Gaussian, uh, in Gaussian uh, format. So now if I look on my uh, directory there is this fake nitrobenzene v2.com and uh, I want to forward it to the cluster so in the cluster I check what is my uh, directory where I want it control c doing top to avoid uh, timing out and do smp Wave nitrogen v2 user server and you column path enter and the password okay and now uh, in the window for the um, so there is the same free nitrogen then V2. So it has uh, atomic coordinates of uh, all these things. Um, I plan to show how to build it in Avogadro if needed uh, but I think Mahima was uh, asking a, a, a question right can you yeah I'm listening go see you well um The Avogadro is a backup. If you can do it in Gauss View, it's better to do it in Gauss View. So let me show how to do it in Gauss View, right? So where are you connected to through mobile external to photo? Uh, yeah, I opened that. Gauss, uh, Gauss View. And you can put this uh, shift 7 ampersand symbol after <clears throat> what is it? just gview.exe try to type it carefully uh, letter by letter. If you are on the photon, it will work. Did it work? So if you type uh, PWD, what what happens? Home. It says home. 
are you in the tab that corresponds uh, are you logged into the photon the black screen right yes yeah can you type the command or copy paste the command cd space scratch 001 chem 476 slash chem 676 underscore summer then you are not logged into photon you need to log into photon please so uh, then type this type the uh, this command that was before same as we did last time you you were taking notes right Um, Mahima, just a second, I need to answer to you, uh, Zheng. You um, not only nitrobenzene, uh, you need to, we need to uh, plot the substrate, the smallest fragment of, uh, of your nanotube or small graphene flake. So graphene flake and then nitrobenzene. Uh, yes, now, same, uh, uh, just draw a molecule like, like that. I was demonstrating it specifically so that we all re uh, repeat and do it. Uh, try to do it in uh, Avogadro. And uh, I will first solve uh, questions with Mahima and, and then show in Avogadro if. Uh, uh, if you see it uh, challenging. Uh, Mahima, were you able to log in? Okay. Um, now... So, uh, go to your directory, right? CD... Okay, good. And now just try to to build the same model uh, in those here.
Ähm, mach ich mal. Um, please save the intermediate structure. Even if you are not done, just save as uh, because it may um, like it, it happened to me right now. I was in the middle of drawing and uh, the ghost you stopped. Just so if you save in, into the file, it will you will be more secure. Benzene, right? Graphene flake connected to nitrobenzene. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, uh, let, let me go back to the um, uh, to the right directory and I, I will. <clears throat> so we draw three six member rings and then to the central six member rings we connect nitrobenzene i know it is a little bit uh, ahead of basic drawing but uh, we will feel more comfortable if we go through this task uh, today Kristen, how are you doing? Were you able to... Oh, 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 it's gone. It's gone? But did you save it before before it is gone? No. So please save. Save. Uh, I, I faced the same uh, uh, difficulty. <laughs> it's going for, it's going for me too maybe the connection is uh, is poor is poor today mm. so if, if it keeps failing then we will, we all will draw in uh, avogadro or, or, or jmo Yeah, it fails uh, on on my side, so uh, uh, I I think it's better to um, if if you draw something and you see it um, midway successful, you may save it, save as, and uh, design a file. Let me look in your directory if you if you did it. No, you didn't yet.
So I want to be on a very safe side and I'm doing safe as uh, right away even before I did an anything available. So I just put one tetrahedral carbon but uh, I, I will try to save uh, things after each step. Yes. Uh, I can draw this to the molecule, but I don't know how to adjust the distance. Um. Uh, adjust the phase. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to copy to the server. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So, um, there are two ways to answer your question. One is uh, simple and another is a little bit more correct. So, I can share this and then... no, 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 right now it is not needed. I, I will show something. So, one of the ways is to, for example, I slightly change. Uh, in the Avogadro, there is a uh, quick optimization tool so you click on this energy down and then click start and it quickly it uh, does preliminary optimization of geometry and then you uh, save save the geometry did you see and another th good and another thing is to uh, to do it in Gauss view um, so I'm going to open. It will stop automatically or no, stop you need to automatically. click stop. And also, you may want to save it in uh, in the PDB format. Uh, portable. Let me show it. Let me show it here. Uh, file, save as. And um, well, if if you did X Y Z, it's fine. But there is also PDB here. So, if you uh, transferred, let, let me quickly look into your directory. Yeah, uh, save the optimizer. Nitrobenzene, graphene. Okay, so um, um, PDB is more recognizable by Gauss view. So, let, uh, um, watch me uh, doing something in your directory. Babel minus input XYZ nitrobenzene graphene minus OPDB nitrobenzene graphene dot PDB and then I do LS minus OT it has this uh, PDB file so 
what I'm doing next. Uh, I'm going into Gauss view and opening the file that uh, I have created uh, on Avogadro and converted into PDB uh, file type PDB so I know that on, on your terminal you do not see anything developing but just open and even if you do not see anything uh, you still uh, try to follow, follow me so you open file and then if the connection is good uh, uh, if everything is, is tuned then one will see molecule uh, appearing in Gauss view window if it is not tuned you will see nothing but do not worry we need uh, some quick command that uh, does not depend on what is shown uh, Kristen Uh, I, I know that you uh, you are in the lab and you uh, it's hard to uh, um, answer by voice. So please transfer the file that you have created in JMOL on your laptop into the server and uh, convert it into PDB and try to open it in Gauss view. Uh, please, please start. Please start over. I, I just need to concentrate. Transferring a file created on JMOL to the server. Yeah. Well, um, let me ask: Were you able to launch JMOL on your computer and build the model? Good. Okay, good. Now uh, let's wor uh, w let me look into your directory on the server. Um. Yeah, you do not have it. So, um, can you find the directory where your model is stored on your computer maybe if you if you share the screen we can uh, figure it out uh, quicker Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it. Yes, yes. It, it, it. it is a good start. Uh, let's uh, work on practical sites. Uh, so you have this KL pat node, chem 676, nitrobenzene, nitro flake. Um, let's do more M O R E space. And then name of this file. KL. Uh, uh -huh. Hit tab and it will uh, underscore nitro flake. Enter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I see. I see. Um, Letter Q. Okay. So type um, SCP space name of this file uh -huh, space. And then um, 
after 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 the uh, name of the file at the at the very at the yeah, scp name and then go to the end of the string and after this scp type uh, i will uh, um, username at photon Then column, and then uh, the path. Let's see, and the path to your um, yeah. Copy, copy, paste it after, and hit enter, and type the password. Okay, now I'm looking there once again. Okay. So, um, I will down quickly download it to uh, my laptop. So I will open it from open. Is it your file, right? Do you see it? Uh, I'm sharing. Uh, oh, I need to start sharing screen. Yes. Sorry. I'm forgetting about it. Yeah. Okay. So um, I am doing file. Look here. Export Gaussian. You probably uh, did right state, and there there should be Gaussian. Uh, please, well, right now I will do it for you, but uh, you seem to use uh, latest version of JMO. If you re-download the version that is currently on the Photon server, it will have this uh, Gaussian option. So, uh, what I'm doing, export, Gaussian. And it should, uh, it should, oh, okay, it, it's here, it's on a different screen. Uh, flake, nitro, benzene, uh, please, then, save, save, close. Um, okay, and now I'm just uh, uh, transferring this file back into the server so that we will, uh, we will be on the same page yes wait now if we go into photon server and look uh, here there is this one right and now 
please try to open to open it in Gaussian so to, uh, even if you will see nothing open it just as an exercise um, so uh, do Gauss view then open and I will just go to your dot com flake nitrobenzene open I think so so here here is uh, the the model so it may miss uh, some uh, bonds but uh, right now we are not looking for scientific truth we are looking more on uh, the um, practical aspects. So when you are opening it this way, you may not see the model, but at least uh, it should show this uh, string at the bottom, 47 atoms, 162 electrons, neutral singlet. I cannot open Gaussian view. Uh, yes, server. You... Okay, I will be. I I, I will uh, fix it in in a second. Let, let me finish with Kristen. Kristen, yes. uh, were you able to open your file in Gauss View? Yes, but I don't see it. It's fine. Do you see this uh, line at the bottom? Forty-seven atoms. So many. Yes. Okay, so um, then in the in this control window select calculate Gaussian calculation setup and uh, let me attract attention of everyone to uh, to this thing uh, I will repeat it again and again but it is something important so Gaussian calculation setup. So this is the uh, most important part of, uh, of this three weeks. Um, you see several tabs. First one is job type. Optimization is good. And do not change anything. Then click next tab. Method. Um, it shows ground state, hard to fog. So click on hard to fog and replace it. Select a tab that calls uh, that tells mechanics. I will later explain all details, but mechanics and it shows mechanics UFF. So after that, do not uh, change any other tabs. Look at the uh, bottom line. It has submit. After you click submit, it will tell you must save Gaussian input file before you submit. Would you like to save an input file now? You tell yes. And then it offers an opportunity to save it under uh, different names. So uh, add, please, um, it's not mandatory from point of view of Gaussian, but for, for us, humans and scientists, tell that it is optimization uh, universal force field. And then click save. I will put number one uh, just in case because I th it seems that I'm at your directory, but you do not put number one, so we have a little different uh, streams. So click save. And then it will ask, submit the following file to Gaussian. Then you do click OK.
and uh, since it is very, the simplest possible job and it is uh, uh, very quick it tells uh, Gaussian job completed uh, would you like to open the following results file uh, you may or may not open but uh, if you look onto the in the directory it should be already there the file that ends with dot log and uh, let me mm, so since the bonds were not uh, drawn uh, um, in a best possible way it considered as a collection of hydrocarbons and did something corrupted but we do not blame uh, us or Gaussian we just uh, we just learning so it, it generates the uh, output output geometry just a second I'm just trying to find the right window on my screen oh okay it was here so if I'm looking in your directory and typing ls minus lt it shows uh, so it was my run uh, in your directory flake nitrobenzen kristen underscore opt uff1 dot log um, I was expecting you to save file uh, with a similar name but with, without number one and then to run it so uh, please try to do things that, that I did uh, and I will go one by one to other uh, team members and we'll repeat similar steps so uh, and then we will we'll check once again if there are questions so um, I hope everyone does see what I'm doing right now and let me I can't hear anything Mahima and it, it looks like stopped um, log off and log in um, not on server but uh, but mm, browser this connection um, you and Kristen do you hear me yes. okay Mahima you still do not uh, hear and do not see okay well, uh, I'll, I'll keep doing things, but uh, if, if if something goes wrong, I hope this uh, the recordings will, will, will go well. So um, let me repeat. Let me repeat. Um, in a, in the oversimplified way, you cannot tell it on on the conference or between colleagues. It is uh, just a very very oversimplified way, uh, exaggerated. The goal of computational chemistry with Gaussian is to convert .com file into .log file did you hear it? please uh, say or type yes if you agree Kristen? or oh, maybe we are really disconnected uh, you? Um, so when we prepare models and assign a task to Gaussian to complete it saves in the .com file okay. after the job is complete it saves it in the .log file so the .com is input .log is output Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes, I'm very happy. 
Okay. Um, so let me, uh, Kristen, please try. Uh, right now, I will go into the directory of you. And but I only have PDB file. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, just watch me what, what I'm doing. I'll pretend that I'm, I'm uh, you, and uh, I'll do things uh, in your directory. And Kristen, please uh, watch me as well. Uh, the steps for if you uh, for in your directory will be the same. I will just repeat the same things we just did in your directory. So you have nitro benzene graphene dot pdb. So in Gauss view, I'm clicking open, and I'm navigating up. You and here file type, I can just go into the PDB. So it recognizes nitrobenzene graphene dot PDB. Opening and it shows this uh, model. Build nicely. Now. Um, if you do not see the model, which may happen because we are doing it in remotely, do not worry. Um, if you are following, following me literally, please uh, confirm if you see the bottom line in this white window. If you see this, so many atoms, so many electrons, do you see this line? Please yes. say, okay, good. Now we are going to the gray window. Uh, which is a like control of situation and I'm clicking on calculate and I'm going Gaussian calculation setup and then it should uh, pop up the this window that you see uh, mm -hmm. with multiple tabs so in narrow sense, the work of computational uh, chemist uh, is just, uh, well, at the lowest, lower level, it's just operating buttons in this window and analyzing log files. It's, it's sufficient to survive and uh, publish some, uh, maybe not top journals, but to survive in this world. So job type, energy. Let's click replace it to optimization. So first tab, it should be optimization. Then second tab, method. Click there. It shows uh, buttons, ground state, hard to fog. So we need to click on hard to fog. And you see there are options with like uh, mechanical, semi-empirical, DFT. So we need to click on mechanical. And then there will be button UFF. So everything is good. We do not need to change tabs anymore. Now let's slowly look into the bottom of this panel and click, uh, find, identify the uh, button submit and click it. And please try to repeat the same steps uh, I'm doing. So it tells you must save Gaussian input file before you submit. Would you like to save an input file now? You click save. And then it gives an option, nitrobenzenegraphene.com. So since I'm in your directory, we want to avoid duplication of uh, names. So I will call it nitrobenzenegraphene optimize UFF, and maybe I'll put my initials DK. And uh, you can name it similarly, but a little bit different. 
Okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then click save. So it's dot com. Dot com, yes. Okay. And after it will ask submit the following file to Gaussian. And you, you click OK. And then uh, it tells, uh, uh, since this job is very simple, so force, uh, force field optimization is uh, nothing for today's computer. It's simplest possible task. It's typically done in like seconds or maybe one minute. And then uh, basically the job is done. If Gauss view is working properly, you can click OK and watch it. Uh, I have a question. Yes, yes, please. I see the two lines. One is C, one is dot .log, one is other files. Check. Dot .log is more important. Dot .log is more important. So CHK and dot .log. Yeah. Uh, dot .log is for uh, human readable information. And CHK is for more uh, machine readable, for like technical data. Okay. Oh. And then it shows a geometry that seems uh, optimized. If I am going into the uh, command line, into directory, and type ls minus lt, it shows. Again, I, I see only my file. Do you have file uh, that you have created? Um, it should be. I can, yeah, I can see the chk and dot com and log file. But did you? You should name it different way. Like instead of dk, put u, or uh, so that we, we name it different. I, I way. can. I, I cannot open Gaussian view. You cannot open Gaussian view. Yes. Th th uh, that's. Cannot connect to X server location. Something, something, oh, yes. okay, okay. So, well, oh, sorry, I, I have forgotten about it. Let's fix it. Um, so, I am copying PWD, Control C, and now I'm typing exit. So uh, sometimes the graphical connection is uh, stopped. So I'm exiting. And then I need to uh, just re re login. So doing uh, SSH minus Y. Now, after I logged in, I, I'm going to this uh, directory, and now I try to type uh, uh, G view. And probably I need to close my old Gauss view because I logged off uh, exit. So uh, if you try to log off and log in, once again, this uh, goes you should uh, should work. Does it work? Was it uh, was it okay? Yeah, I'm trying to go to my directory first. Oh, okay. Let me uh, type it CD. I, I typed it in the uh, chat line, so you can just copy paste it. Yeah, I already found it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, since the windows pop out. So uh, Gauss, Gauss view did start? Yes, the windows come up. Yeah. Okay, good. So uh, 
Um, although we have this uh, the needed data in your directory, please try to repeat the steps yourself. Yes. Okay. And then we'll go. So as soon as you have log file that you have created yourself, uh, everything is good at your side. So please practice. Mm -hmm. And now I will uh, talk to Kristen once again. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Kristen? So uh, let's let me go into your uh, directory. Aha! I see. I see. You have this flake nitrobenzene. It's uh, it's a directory. It's a file that you have created yourself. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. So, this uh, there as uh, when this file, this files dot log files are created, there are two things which are useful there. Mm, one thing is geometry, and another thing is total energy. For the total energy. Uh, it's just simpler, that, therefore I will do it first. So I do uh, file, open, go to your directory, and your the latest file is uh, flake nitrobenzene. Then your initials. No, 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 no. So, so I should find uh, file type. I, I was too quick. No. Uh, open. Now I want to open a dot log file. Gaussian output files. I open this flake native and then okay. So I'm, I'm opening dot log file that you have independently created. Um, so if uh, Gaussian U connection works okay, it shows the model if it does not it's okay uh, it's just opening it and then in the ghost view control panel there is a button results so in the button results i'm going to summary and in this summary uh, it shows several um, observable. So, most important thing is total energy. Total energy minus 0 0.029 atomic units. So, um, this is the information that one needs to record maybe into Excel or Microsoft Word table if uh, describing some specific uh, like comparing different molecules. So this total energy is something positive that one can report and it is objective computed uh, characteristic. Make sense? Yeah. Were you able to uh, find this total energy, uh, to the results total energy? My command window for Gaussian view disappeared and so no. Okay, um, you can reload Gaussian once again, or if it declines to reload, you can log off and log in once again. When you log in SSH minus Y with minus Y uh, option, it should enable Gaussian view once again. It it happens from time to time, but please. I think I got it. Okay. So, were you able, do you see this uh, total energy tab? Or not yet? Yeah, I see it. You see it? Yeah. Okay, very good. We will, uh, we will check it with Mahima and with you a little uh, later. 
and I'm clicking OK and going to the um, command line once again. So I can do Babel minus input um, let's check formats it should it should uh, go in output g09 okay so babel minus i g09 then wake wake nitrobenzen initials dot log minus output xyz wait night and then the initials dot x y z good no error Whew. I, I will even uh, type it I will copy paste it in uh, in the control C in the chat line control V so after this I'm checking ls minus OT it shows new file flake need to benzen um, do more. So uh, this file instead of more, I better type head. So it shows only part of file. So uh, um, this is an important and universal information so what uh, we cooperatively did right now uh, we prepared the model by human hand right and transferred it to the server then on the server we did run geometry optimization uh, so according um, Gaussian did universal force field uh, and made um, did uh, its uh, best effort to rearrange distances between atoms in such a way so it thinks it uh, reaches the minimum of energy. And now this file, that when we converted uh, .log file into .xyz, is new coordinates that according to the Gaussian should be the best. Gaussian may make errors, uh, errors may accumulate, but right now we are just considering ideal situation. So this .xyz file is universal format that we can convert into any, uh, we can use for any other software. And if you download this file into your uh, laptop and open it you should be able to watch it with uh, jmo please confirm if uh, you agree with uh, statements before uh, i have a question so when i open the gaussian view in the command window i cannot have anything i mean i cannot have commands Just type the ampersand symbol, shift 7. Uh, let me, uh, I, I will type it in, in the chat line. gview.exe ampersand. So if you do, uh, if you want to stop. Um, oh. Yeah, I want to stop. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I, I know what I want to communicate. I just try to find right words. So, um, when you type only gview.exe, enter, it blocks your command line. It prevents yes. you from typing new commands. Uh, do not do anything. I just uh, tell. Uh, if you close Gauss view, or if you type 
control C in the command line, then goes view will be queued and you will be able to type commands again. You mean for Mac? Oh, okay. So uh, I need to close goes in view. Yes, on one yes. hand. If oh. you want if you want to prevent this situation, if you want to still be able to type commands after running after you run the software. You need to put this uh, funny symbol, ampersand, shift 7, and then you will be able to type. Shift 7. Okay, I already killed it. <laughs> yeah, but then, then you run it again, when you do this uh, gview.exe mm -hmm. uh, with ampersand, you re rerun it. Okay. Uh, Kristen, are you uh, connected? Okay, um, please try to download this uh, .xyz and .log files into your local computer. Can you do it? I think so, but then I'm not finding it on with demo. Um, if you did download it, you can share the screen. And I will uh, suggest what to do. And just to be on the same page, uh, I will download um, We will download them to Just a second, just a second. I, 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 will, I will download uh, your files to my computer as well. So if something uh, doesn't work, I will do demonstration for, for my computer. It's a few seconds more. Can you please um, bring the terminal to the front? Uh, not the connect. Uh, <laughs> now it shows. Yes, yes, this terminal. So, can you type pwd in the uh, command line? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. You're showing a QNet photon, but you need to download this file to your local computer right so in the different tab in the different uh, tab you need uh, on your you need to open uh, new tab on your local yes yes and here you need to type something like uh, this one i i I, I gave an example in the common chat. Oh, yeah. So you need to bring files from the server back to your um, to your computers. Yeah, FLA whatever or dot uh, star dot x. Yeah, and you do not need to type the whole name. You. Uh, you can put star, which means anything after this point. But what is important to do space and period. Okay, and now try to open this uh, 
Pizer.log or .xyz in the JMO, yes. Okay, there it is. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So, scientifically, we we have some uh, room for improvement, but technologically, you see how technology works, right? Yeah. So you create things on your local computer, send it to the server, run Gauss view, get dot log file, bring it back to your computer and watch. Mm -hmm. And you can do it with any molecule, with this force field, uh, with this force field uh, level of theory. There, there are no limitations. You can do rather big molecules, like 10,000 atoms, your proteins or whatever will work. Okay. You can even practice immediately. Um, download your PDB uh, stuff and... Uh, Try to optimize it in the in Gauss U just as a practice. Uh, you, how things are going f at your side? Uh, so I'm trying to download the, my file to my local computer. Okay. So if uh, if there are any difficulties, just share screen and I will uh, try to assist. I think I can get get my file download to my computer. Okay, can you open it in Avogadro? Yeah, let me try. Yeah, Kristen, you are welcome to to depart. Thank you for sending a note. I think we. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you. Yes, I saw. Can you yes, share share? So. Can you share share screen and brag? Yes. Brag to me, show how it looks like. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let me check. Which button is share screen? <laughs> um, in the communication software? Yeah, yes. Uh, PDF? There, uh, there is a, no, before PDF, there is a button, a symbol of a screen. Like uh, there is a microphone, camera, phone, then symbol of screen, and then PDF. So the button. No, I don't. I only have th three buttons. Ha <laughs> ha! Interesting. Okay. The. the um, today let's not fix it, but next time try another browser. So if you are using like instead of uh, maybe you are using Safari, and you may try. Yeah. To, yes. Yeah. Try to use Firefox or. Uh, Google Chrome. Uh, it, it should fix it. But I remember I shared this one. I shared screen last time. Let me connect. Let me disconnect and connect. Okay, yeah.
Uh huh. Now it, it yeah it shares. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. So uh, uh, let me show you uh, last thing that was planned. I think we are a little over time, but uh, you feel uh, much more uh, comfortable. Oh, I, I can just tell you what, what to do. If um, you uh, bring this uh, um, Avogadro forward, if you bring this Avogadro forward, so in the top portion, after the energy with arrow down, there is a symbol of um, uh, measuring like a ruler. Can you click on it? Yes. Now let's click on the uh, carbon that connects the flake, uh, graphene, once. So and you mean the carbon on the graphene or carbon on the nitrogen? Carbon on the graphene. Okay. And now click the... Uh, yes, and now click on the carbon on the nitrogen then. 1.546. Uh -huh. So this is something that one can record. Um, we did very approximate optimization with uh, cheapest and least precise method, but uh, if we do it later with different methods, this is some uh, objective observable. So we do calculation and then measure distance. We find total energy and, me and measure distances and put it in, into a table to describe geometry. Make sense? Yes. Okay. I think uh, this is enough for, to for today. Uh, let me ask if you have uh, some other questions. Uh, so far, I think it's good. Okay, yeah. Many thanks for dedication for this activity. And uh, then I suggest we all uh, disconnect and I will try my best to check that uh, recordings are saved and shared. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.